Innovation is not done in order to make something new. It is done for the sake of business, getting more sales, getting better margin, retaining your customers, increasing your market share. But business starts with what you give before asking what you can get. Innovation must be focused on generating exceptional value for customers. Exceptional value is created by removing a significant limitation for the customer in a way that was not possible before and to the extent that no significant competitor can deliver. You see, there is a big difference between innovation and improvement. Improvement is about giving customers more of what they have, like making variations of your current products or services or expanding your portfolio to offer things they already get from other providers. This may be an improvement, up to a point where customers don't really care. Innovation, on the other hand, is about providing customers with capabilities they did not have before, removing limitations that open new possibilities for the customers. How to identify customers' limitations? Some may be limitations they would never complain about until we show them a solution. How to structure a product, service, or business model that really removes the limitation and create a wow? The TLC process for business innovation can guide you and your team to find the leverage point for real innovation. The approach is to first look at innovation for your current markets, customers' base, or products. See if by having new eyes and looking at reality from the point of view of customers' limitations, we can find a, a way to deliver exceptional value. To make it practical, we prefer to look for minimum innovation that makes the biggest impact. Often, we come up with many ideas. Trying to advance on too many fronts, spreading attention and resources thin, will surely result in a compromise. Focus starts by identifying what not to do. To maintain this focus, the TOC innovation process guides us when to expand the scope and use our creativity to come up with many ideas and when to force convergence and reach consensus on the few ideas that can really make a difference. Innovation is not one idea. It is a string of products, offering services that progressively remove customers' limitation. The value helix is a, an essential step in the TOC innovation process. It is the evolution roadmap for our innovation. Planning it right ensures we are not trying to make too big of a jump at the start and rather keep building on what was achieved and adding to it with each evolution step to enhance the competitive edge. Innovation is much more than just coming up with a good idea. We should also carefully design the process that convert your idea into a successful business. The business model design should start from the major challenge. Is it a gap in margin, gap in cost, gap in converting leads to deals, gap in reaching enough customers, gap in keeping the window of opportunity open for a longer time until the competition catch up? In order to deal with these gaps when constructing the business model, the TUC innovation process guides us to consider six elements. Reference for value, reference for price, purchasing situation, distribution channels, competition barriers, and third-party collaborations. It is like a jigsaw puzzle where all the pieces need to fit together. The next step deals with the buying process. Since it may have implications on the elements of the new offering, it is important to think of the sales process while developing our innovation. Great value does not sell itself. How to bring the customer to make the change? It is essential to carefully plan the communication sequence to deal with possible reservations the customer may have. The last step of the TOC process for innovation deals with the execution plan. Many good ideas fail in execution. If the development phase is not managed right, what looked great on paper results in a total compromise. Developing a new offering is a process that requires us to quickly test and learn, to examine multiple options and know when to focus on a certain path, to know when to keep investing time and resources till we reach a perfection, and when to determine that good is good enough. The implementation plan should include elements like full kitting, gaps analysis, and gating management in order to avoid common pitfalls in managing an innovation project. You are invited to join me at the TOC for Business Innovation Workshop. Dedicate quality time to work with your team on your next innovation. 
Learn the TOC process from ideation to concept design, constructing the business model and working on your innovation implementation plan. We will learn practical tools for each step in the process and then apply it to your business. The workshop has two sessions of two days each. In the first two-day session, your team will identify possible customers' limitations, determine which ones are worth pursuing, and start to design your new offering. Then, we take one month break so you can validate the analysis, review it with your colleagues and customers, and keep developing the offer aiming to remove the customer's limitation in a way that was not possible before. The second two-day session, we will polish your offering, really making sure both the customer and your company will be motivated to make the change. Then develop the business model and the implementation plan to make it happen. We will follow up after the workshop to make sure things are on track. Check out the workshop details here and contact us for further information. Hope to see you there.